For almost a hundred years, wild asses have not been observed in the Negev Desert. In the 1980s, the Israel Nature and Parks Authority reintroduced the wild ass to the region as part of an effort to restore the historic flora and fauna of the Negev. At the Jacob Blaustein Institutes for Desert Research at Ben Gurion University, scientists are now studying these herds. First, Dr. Shirley Bardavid and her team conduct on-site observations throughout the Negev Desert to map the animal's distribution and identify their gathering points and sources of food. With this information, they hope to assess the wild ass's chances for survival in the wild. But most importantly, it is necessary to know whether the population has undergone any genetic changes since their founders were released into the wild. Much of their research depends on an analysis of the ass's dung, which is an important source of information about the genetic composition of individuals in the herd. The more genetically varied these individuals are, the more resilient they are likely to be to disease and unanticipated environmental changes. Their chances of survival will, in turn, be greater. Based on the empirical data collected in this research, we will develop a set of recommendations to protect this endangered species, including planning for nature reserve design for the Negev region. Dr. Bardavid's unique research is made possible because of the genetic analysis of the original herd, which was documented almost 30 years ago when it was still living in captivity at the High Bar Animal Reserve in Yotvata. We compare the population genetic structure of the current wild population with their ancestors. And by this comparison, we would like to gain information on the evolutionary processes that occurred since reintroduction. Based on the results of that research, the scientists will be able to draw important conclusions about other endangered species whose survival in their natural habitat is vital to the stability of entire ecosystems and hence the well-being of people that depend on these desert ecosystems. Thanks to the work of these dedicated scientists, together with the Israel Nature and Parks Authority, the biblical description of the Negev Desert as a place where the wild asses quench their thirst has once again become a reality.